Hi friends, and welcome back to Wrath. Today, we're doing another mod showcase featuring Arashi's fishing expansion. This mod is fairly simplistic, but very useful for adding a substantial and reliable food source for both early game and late game play. As always, links are in the description, and I encourage you to check out the mod for yourself. With that said, let's go fishing. Fish are an important food source in Raft as they're relatively easy to obtain and are a far more substantial food source than anything you can grow in the crop plots. As such, if you're at all like me, you spend a lot of your time fishing just to feed yourself. And that's where the main feature of this mod comes in. Much like the collection nets that are in the base game, the fishing mods adds in fish nets to passively collect fish as you travel. Honestly, this makes a lot of sense, and I'm kind of surprised that there isn't anything like this in the base game. Theoretically, they only gather fish when you're moving, but I'm not entirely that's true as I've gotten several fish without moving at all. But hey, that's a feature, not a bug. These nets collect every kind of fish as far as I can tell, but seem to prioritize the smaller kinds of fish. I've not done enough testing to officially confirm that, and these nets very well may use just the same loot table and rates as a generic fishing rod, but I, again, I haven't tested it enough to confirm that. These nets are made much like a regular collection net, but just with a few extra planks and wood. You can see it's not labeled down here, but it is up here. And it's a relatively cheap recipe, so you can make tons of them and just keep yourself fed for ages. Besides just gathering food, the other main benefit of fishing in Raft is some special decoration items that you can pull up out of the sea. There's just a handful of these in the base game, from a few figurines to an old shoe that you can grow some flowers in. But there's still a nifty benefit that you can't obtain anywhere else in the game. The fishing expansion adds a ton more options. These are all models from the game's scrap mechanic, which is also made by Oxalotl Games, the same company that produces Raft. And as much as I love Raft's decoration items, it's always great to have more options. Most of the added models are various kinds of resource crates, which I could definitely see myself using to label my storage in a more interesting way than just slapping signs everywhere. There are a few statues that seem to fit in really well with the other statues that are added in the base game, like some robots and a golden bucket. But by far, my favorite statue is this little guy. He's just so funky. And I love him, and I have no clue what he is, but I still love him. But anyways, let's get back to the fish. Fish and rafts come in three categories. Small fish, medium fish, and large fish, is how I've decided them just to keep it simple. Be prepared for more information on these fish than you will ever need and probably wanted. The herring seems to be based off of an Atlantic herring. And these are coastal and open water fish that tend to live in colder waters, so the tropical environment doesn't really suit them but you know, they're here and at least they're marine fish. Honestly, I could not identify this kind of palm frit. As far as I can tell, there are no species of palm frits that are this small and are blue. Regardless, I don't think there are any species of palm frits that are blue as the most popular species are silver and black, both of which are substantially larger than this fish is. So these are the small fish. The medium fish are a bit more exciting. We've got the mackerel, which is almost certainly based off of an Atlantic mackerel. That's fine. Again, it's a coastal warm water fish, it's fine. The tilapia is one I take an issue with. This is, as far as I can gather, based off of a longfin tilapia, which is distinctly a freshwater fish, and therefore should not be found in the ocean, let alone in the open ocean. That's just a little pet peeve of mine. I'm not an ichthyologist, so that assessment could be wrong. There are a very few species of tilapia that do live in saline waters, but this ain't it, chief. And finally, we've got the large fish. The salmon is again probably based off of an Atlantic salmon, and it's just a large salmon, nothing more to say about it. Catfish, I also couldn't identify. Like the palm frit, there are many species of catfish, and a few of them live in salt water but I honestly couldn't find any that resemble this catfish in any way, shape, or form. So if any of you happen to know what it is, let me know, please, because I'm curious and I want to know. So as we've gone over, the main purpose of having fish in the game is to serve as a food source. Let's start with the small fish again. The small fish each provide 20 hunger when cooked and can be cooked on the small grill from the start of the game. That means these are a great early food source, and especially given the cheap cost of making the fish nets, this means you can get yourself sustained really fast. The medium fish each give 35 hunger and can also be cooked on the small grill. 
However, you can only cook one fish at a time on a small grill, making it far more useful to build yourself a large grill, which you can obtain after researching some metal bars and some other generic materials. The large fish can only be cooked on the large grill, and like the small grills with the small fish, you can only cook one at a time. However, the large fish provide 30 hunger at a time as opposed to the 35 of the medium fish, but you can consume a large fish up to three times for a total of 90 hunger. Meaning, while these aren't the most efficient food source per se, they are the most efficient in terms of inventory space, which is definitely can be an issue in Raft. So with that, that's the majority of what the fishing expansion has to offer. However, there is one other small mod that I think is worth showing off. It's pretty much useless and it only does one thing, but I still enjoy it quite a bit, because in the base game you can only fish while standing. And that's boring, so you just want to sit down and take a load off. And now you can fish while doing that. Believe it or not, this is not something you can do in the base game, and it's always kind of annoyed me, because I would love to just sit down and fish for a bit. And now we can! Just look at us relaxing in our little thing. Sure, it's a little janky looking from third person, but who cares? So that does it for Rashi's fishing expansion and the sit while fishing mod. These mods are very useful and very functional in-game ones that are pretty great if you don't want to drastically change the way you play Raft, but also want a bit more options in the way you play. On a bit more personal note, we're going to go back to my three uploads a week and I'm going to start streaming again soon. I'm finally back home, things have settled down a bit, and we're ready to go again. So I hope to see you all there. Feel free to check me out on Twitch if you're interested in my live content. I've held the world record in speedrunning Raft a few times by now, so if you want to see that, be sure to check me out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.